Hello, welcome back to another Pokemon One Punch Man video. Where we'll be doing Gen Point Eight Point Five, which is Legends Arceus. I like to call it Gen Eight Point Five because that's really what what this generation is, in my opinion. Since this game become comes before Gen Nine, but after Gen Eight, and there's new Pokemon in it, so this will be Gen Eight Point Five, aka Legends Arceus. So let's get to it. The new Growler form is literally just the same as the old one, but with a beard. And it's a normal type, but normal doesn't really do anything. I mean, it's literally called the normal type for a reason. Okay, Stone Fire Arcanine, like this new rock type version of Arcanine that, that can also still have like fire moves, which is pretty cool. So, so this one, yeah, I think this one is very good. It still has the speed of the original Arcanine. It's got the... The attack of the original Arcanine, it's got fire with rock mixed in with it. It's very underrated. It's a really underrated Pokemon, even though it has pretty weak typing and it's kind of fragile because it has a typing that is double weak to ground and water. It has two double weaknesses. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, let's just uh get to the next one, which is... Okay, since I put... Kanto Votorb in Tiger solely based on the fact that they can explode and kill and kill a few dozen people like a bomb essentially there. That's the only reason why I put it in Tiger, even though it can't really do anything else other than explode. I'll put this one in Tiger too, because it basically does the same thing, but it's a grass type. Same with uh Hisui Electrode. It, it explodes, but it also has some grass aspects mixed into it. To make it not totally like the original. To give it unique, unique typing. By adding in a few grass moves. So yeah. Interesting concept. Now Typhlosion. This Typhlosion looks dead. And bored out of its mind. Poor Typhlosion. So. Our guy uh, Typhlosion. Just because this is like a fire ghost type. I don't really know what to expect from this damn thing. He doesn't have the same energy as the original Typhlosion, but just because he's a ghost type and fire ghost is definitely better than pure fire, we will put him in demon. Just based on that alone and how he can summon spirits, even though it's bored out of his fucking mind. Doesn't even want to battle. Okay, new Quillfish. Can't maybe remember where I put the old Quillfish, but I think this is like like a far superior version to the original and it can hold Eevee like because this version can actually evolve. Unlike the... Original Quillfish, which was only a one stage and one and done evolution pretty much, but this one is like an improved Quillfish, and I think that alone will get it in Tiger. Okay, so over Quill, on the other hand, with those big ass spikes, and it's surprisingly fast and versatile for just being a puffer fish with long ass poison spikes, I think it is very underutilized, and if it's in a sea terrain where a one punch man hero would be fighting it in the sea, it definitely would be extremely, extremely strong and formidable. So, yeah, if it's not in the sea, it can't do anything because it's just another fish that will suffocate to death when it's on land. But in the sea, this thing is the absolute demon. Hence the name of the tier it's in. Okay. This version of Sneasel, again, this is like an upgrade to the original Sneasel, so I'll put it in the Tiger. Poison Fighting, it's like a, it's like an even stronger version of Krogunk and Sneasel combined. This thing trumps Krogunk in terms of the stats for being a fully non-evolved uh, Poison Fighting type. It's the second one to be introduced so far. So, yeah. Next up, we have uh, the weird furry... Uh, OC Sneasel, which I, looks awful. I don't really see this one being as strong as Weavile, so I think both of these Mons will be in Tiger. Sneasler is not that good. Very overhyped and just a furry OC, basically. And it, it's just a worse Toxic Rogue, in my opinion. It's poison fighting, but it just it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really look good and it doesn't really do anything. Okay. Uh... Hisui Samurai, uh, this is a weird one. He's got the spike tendril head thing and the beard, kind of like white beard from One Piece, who is also an anime character. Uh, but other than that, it, this is a very slow mon, but I think it's stronger than the original, so we'll leave it in the demon tier. 
Uh, now, now these, these are abominations, but they're not as good as the originals, so they're just like beta versions of the originals. Like you have the original Pumpkin Diablo, which are like the Sigmas, and these two are betas. Like, like, like literally beta, <laughs> these things aren't even fully upgraded, they're just like, they're just like, like motionless sprites. These things suck, but just was their title legendaries, but di disfigured title legendaries. They'll go in Dragon, but they won't go in God, because they're just worse versions of the originals, which shouldn't even exist. This Lilligan, I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I really think it's a Tiger Lilligan base form from Unova. I, I believe that was around Tiger and Wolf Tear, that wasn't very good, but I think this one's better. Kind of has a Japanese-inspired hula dance theme, but other than that, this is like a very basic, boring mon. It's just another grass type. This is just a fish. Okay, this is the bigger fish. I, I, I don't think... Yeah, I, I guess these two count as demons. Because these, these are probably on the level of Overclaw, but even faster. So I guess they count. They've also got fangs on my Overclaw. Just got a little circle for a mouth that can't really reach. Because all the quills do the work. But as for these things, these things have got precision, power, speed. Kind of like the rock in the reps you made. Kind of like that. But they... Uh, they're very unique looking for fish Pokemon. They are also got those big ass teeth to rip, tear, and shred any bitch ass one punch man hero who wants to challenge them. Zora Rah. Okay, just because this is like a like an actual full on Kitsune, unlike Nine Tails, which is like like the Volpix line, like those aren't full on Kitsunes, but this thing is. This thing is a Kitsune in design. It is not. Trying to look like a Western fox at the same time. It's just trying to look like a pure Japanese mythological, mythological creature. Kind of looks like that. Now, as for Hisui Zorark, it is a significant upgrade over Hisui Zorara. It is just a stronger version and probably would used by, be used by any Naruto character. Kind of looks like Daidara from Naruto, but in Pokemon form. With, with that big ass hair it's got going on. Very weird. Just looks like a better version of Lycan Rock Midnight form, even though it's not part of the Rock Rough Evolution family. It's, it's, it's its own thing, and it? It's the evolution of Hisui Zora. It's just a very weird Pokemon overall, but a very strong one. With a very unique typing. Ghost Normal, you don't. <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened, I don't think you're going to get it very often. It's probably the best typing in the game. It's only weak to dark and has a lot of resistance and immunities. So, yeah. I don't know if this is, like, a new version of Rufflet. Or, like, a Sprite someone accidentally put in here. But, let's just say someone accidentally put this in here. This doesn't even look like... Like, what I was saying, yeah. Rufflet in Unova was crap. And this looks exactly the same. So, it'll be in Wolf. Because it's crap. So it will go in there. Now, Bravery on the other hand, you don't really get many birds higher than Tiger because birds are just birds. This is now a psychic bird. It's just a stronger version of Zatu. It really is. Bravery, Bravery was stronger than Zatu to begin with. Then they slapped on the psychic type and now it's even stronger. So yeah, it will go in there. Okay, Weird Ass Avalog. This kind of looks like a rock type, maybe a nice rock type. I think this will go in Demon, honestly. I don't really see it rising above the Dragon Avalog itself in Gen 6. This is already a pretty crap Pokemon. So, yeah, we'll just leave it in there, I guess. And this Sligu, what on earth is this? Yeah, is Sligu coming out, coming out of some big grey chunk of metal? It's very weird. Kind of creepy, I don't like that. Okay. It doesn't look like it were able to hold its own against a one puncher man here, that's for sure. Even a lower tier one at that. Okay, now now Kudra. It looks exactly the same, but it's holding out some big chunk of metal instead of having a tail. It just stunk a stuck a big chunk of metal on it. Instead of even get a tail, because this is like Kudra before the actual Kudra even existed, and it looks awful. But just because it's a Kudra, we'll put it in demon because it looks exactly the same. Now this Decidueye, well this is newer Decidueye, I think all the starters for this, uh, what's the word for it, sub game I guess, this is 
not really a main series game. I think this will just go in Demon 2. It's like a Zen Sensei kind of looking Sidui. It's just the Sidui, but older, essentially. Kind of looks like a mix between a cowboy and a samurai. And also a bit of wizard features in there too. It looks very weird for what it's supposed to be. A Pokemon, but alright. I guess Game Freak having more furry fantasies. Which is why these god-awful things are getting created. And Pokemon don't even look realistic anymore. No, in fact they look too realistic. Well, that's beside the point. We have this weird-looking deer. I mean, it's just a deer. It's just a deer with a beard. What more can I say? Definitely stronger than the other Mons in Wolf, but this is very overhyped in terms of what it can do. Okay, so, you know what? Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll leave it there. I know you may... I know you might think this is a bit stupid where assuming Quillfish is stronger than a fully evolved Stantler. Like, this is Stantler, but, but evolved... In this game, essentially, but but quillfish, quillfish can at least poison things. Weird deer can just headbutt things, and that's it. It's just a deer, like a real life one, but with grey fur. Okay, cleaver. I I like cleaver. Cleaver is very solid, honestly. C cleaver is very, mm, I guess, underappreciated is the word he could use to describe it. This should have been Sword and Shield. It looks like something that could have been Sword and Shield because it's like a knight with the big ass axe hands it's got. Definitely should have been in that game and not this crappy spin off game. Uh, but I think Cleavor is very, very solid, and we'll leave it in there. Okay, we're on to our final three. Enormous. I have a feeling this one is actually stronger than. Than the other genies. But, but I'm not feeling it. It looks like a very weird. Disjointed looking thing. It looks very fucking creepy. M my god. Why are Game Freak giving us these awful designs? I mean look at Palkia origin form up there. Those things are hideous. But this is probably even worse. But in terms of it's strength. I don't really see much out of it. It's just another genie. I'm like. Like, like, the other form it has isn't even special, like, Landorus Fearing. Like, Landorus Fearing was actually good. And this Enormous Fearing just doesn't have the same qualities that that Pokemon does. Now, for our final one, we have Ursaluna. People saying Ursaluna should go in Dragon. Nah, I'm just not seeing it. It's just, it's just a really big bear, essentially. It really is just a big bear. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a, it's a big fucking bear. What more can this thing do? It can just pounce and eat shit. It's a bear. It's just a stronger, fatter, uh, soaring that crawls on all fours. So, yeah. Now, this is my list. We didn't get any gods for this uh, game. This is, this, I believe, the second generation where there hasn't been any Pokemon in the god tier. Even though it's not really a generation. It's like a sub-generation, I guess. Because this is not a main series game. Like This is just a spin-off. But there's original Pokemon in the spin-off, which is why I'm doing this list. So yeah, very, very weird game, very weird list. And thank you for watching. Goodbye.